Okay, we'll just do a quick video for this week. Things are going really well. There's a lot of activity going on. So week two of the open course on flip learning. Uh, this week we have the second pillar, which will be, that'd be F, then L, then I, then P. So F was flexible environment. L will be learning culture. So I want you to continue moving in the same pace you're doing. I really like the uh, activity through Twitter as well as the activity in the comments on the actual week's issues. I've updated this front page. You'll notice that I removed the uh, introductory videos and we're still open. You'll, on the right you'll see all sorts of recent posts. There's a search box here as well so you could search for your own name or the name of a colleague and you'll be able to probably find their posts if you're interested in that. But I'll put recent posts that have come up so people that have been working on things looks like we got some repeats here so I might have to go through and check out what's going on there. Uh, there's some random posts here so I'll just randomly every time you load this page it'll be a different random set of posts so I, I welcome you to go and look at other people's posts. Uh, the, the link here is what you should be doing. Unit 2, there's links to the Unit 2 issues as well. Um, I believe there. Uh, what should you be doing over at Unit 2? There we go. Okay cool. Follow us on Twitter, be involved in Twitter. So tag cloud though so I definitely encourage you to tag, put tags in your post. So if you tag uh, some special term like engagement or, or students or uh, exams or whatever you want to tag in your post, they'll show up here on this tag cloud. A column over here is a list of pages so in, in case you, you get a little bit lost there. It's in alphabetical order, I believe. Uh, actually, it's not. It's in order of the posts. I'll fix that. These are recent posts to our Twitter feed. So those of you that aren't on Twitter, maybe you'll, you'll see this and get motivated to jump into Twitter. And I like this, especially that there's a recent comments that have come in on uh, different posts. So Rocio commented on Unit 1 a couple times, Maria, Marie as well. There's a comment from Yvonne, Yvonne and myself. It looks like we have enough comments that they're actually getting filtered off. Those aren't all, those are the, just the recent ones. So definitely jump into this week's content. Get to it here, Unit 2, Learning Culture. And I don't, I, I, there's, there's a couple of good things here I want you to look at, okay? Um, George Corus is a teacher in, uh, actually an administrator in close to Edmonton, Alberta, I believe St. Albert. And he wrote a blog post called, Do Kids Always Need to Be Challenged in Subjects They Don't Care About? Really interesting. Um, at least in the tech culture, we get the students talking a lot about uh, cursos rellenos or, or just fluff courses or, or courses that are filling up their content. And I truly believe that this is their view of it because it's not the heart of their degree program. But I think it's really, really important the courses they're taking. And I will defend that from the, from the administrative side as being a tech employee side. But I actually do um, defend that in my graduates that come back really stressed that those communications courses, those ethics courses, those uh, social awareness courses are important for students. So take a look at what George had to write there, as well as this video that I, I love this video by Logan LaPont, uh, a TEDx presentation on hack schooling and his attitude on learning culture and what learning means to him. So if you uh, find anything else you want to add, that's why we've got this comment section here at the bottom somewhere. There it is. Leave a comment, so put in your name and email. If this is the first time you've commented on our site, remember that you'll ha I'll have to approve your comment, but if you uh, have commented before, it just goes straight in. Again, a reminder, there's a comment policy there. I could always remove comments, and there's some other stuff there about be nice, basically. And there's a privacy policy about uh, privacy of stuff you leave on our course site here. Remember, your content, your blog post, your property, I don't own it. Um, this sign down here where it says Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License is just about the content I created here on our site. All right, not the comments, not the, uh, not your blog posts. So have fun, keep getting engaged. This is this is going really well for a lot of people, and I and I really like how things are going. So have an awesome week. <laughs>